Welcome back. I'm Denny. I'm Nikki. And we're going to talk to you guys today about our favorite hikes on the island. We've been here for over a year and we went hiking almost every weekend. Yes. And we're going to tell you in this video our 10 favorite hikes here on Oahu. So number 10, Makapuku. It's on the east side of the island. What we love about it is that it's short, it's paved, and you are rewarded with the most amazing views of Oahu. It's an endless, unobstructed view of the Pacific. And if you're adventurous like us, you can go down to the tide pools. Yeah. What we like about that tide pool hike is that it's kind of a scramble down on the side of the mountain, and then you come down to these clear tide pools and a blowhole. We don't necessarily recommend going into the tide pools. There's waves that coming in that could swoop you out into the ocean. And at the end, you will see the beautiful small red lighthouse, beautiful sight to see against that ocean backdrop. Moving on to number nine, Lulumahu Falls. So this is a waterfall hike and we just did this and it did not disappoint. So in order to get to this waterfall, you're gonna have to go through bamboo forest. We had to get through some rain, but it was totally worth it. Once we got to the end of the hike, you have a 50 foot waterfall that is perfect for those Instagram shots. Keep in mind that in order to do this hike, you do need to get a permit, but that's quite easy. And if you want to know more about any of these hikes that we're talking about, we've shot a video for each of them. You can find those in the description box. Number eight, Monowilly Falls. One of the first waterfall hikes we've done here on the island, and probably one of our more favorite waterfall hikes, you start off in this lush jungle vibe. There's lots of plants and trees and a couple of lookout spots where you have this open view of mountains and forests, and it's just amazing. There are lots of mosquitoes here and lots of mud. The book spray is so necessary. <laughs> yes. And the mosquitoes are black with like white stripes in their paws. I don't know what kind of mosquito that is, but it doesn't look normal. <laughs> it's a smaller waterfall, but it's powerful. People are swimming there and actually also jumping off from rocks. There are plenty of pillbox hikes on Oahu. This one is about the Ma'ili pillbox hike. Also known as the pink pillbox. And this is on the west side of the island. You're gonna notice that there's a totally different landscape here. It's a little bit more dry, but once you get to the top where the pillboxes are, there's gonna be a total of five. You have like an endless view of the west side coastline. But you see families here, dogs, anyone can do this. Yes, and you can actually stand on top of the pillboxes, take some cool pictures over there, and just look out over the island, you'll see boat tours that do wheel watching or snorkeling tours. You might even spot some sea turtles out in the ocean. You're walking on this windy ridge line when it's not too bad. It's just a very short rewarding hike with epic views. Number six, the Osota Kayak Crater. We've done the entire hike, which took us about seven to eight hours, but we actually do not recommend to do it that way we would recommend stop at waterfall number one and then make your way back the same way you came in because if you continue on the second and third waterfall there's a lot of scrambling involved actually on a waterfall with slippery rocks and once you get to the crater you just kind of have to keep on going otherwise the way back will be longer and we thought it was a bit dangerous but now to the first waterfall you're going to be in this like jungle right it's super green, it's kind of wet. It's also an unmaintained trail, but still doable. And once you actually park, extremely limited parking, beware, and you scramble your way down, it's like, wow, we're in this different world. It's a Jurassic green jungle world, and we were immediately stoked to start that hike. Moving on to another short hike, Cocoa Head. I don't, know, I don't know if it's short, it's a thousand steps up. So Cocoa Head is going to be hiking to the top of a volcanic crater. Uh, once you get up there, there's again some pillboxes. Now we had to stop a couple times to catch your breath. Definitely. But the best thing about it is you can stop on the stairs that you're walking on. Yes, it is completely exposed. So the sun will be shining on your back the entire time, but it's worth it, it's fun. There's actually a coalition that is trying to maintain the steps so it's a more doable and enjoyable walk up. But that's what's so cool about it is that it used to be an old railway used in World War II. 
Number four, Lanakai Pillbox. This one is amazing because you're looking out over the most iconic beach of Oahu, the white sandy beach with the two Mokulua Islands, absolutely stunning. The sun rises behind the two islands. It's a perfect opportunity for picture taking. The hike again is very short, it's very doable, and it's beautiful. If you're walking up to the pillbox, there's actually a couple on that trail. We'd recommend to go to the first or the second and then just make your way back. Parking again, extremely limited. Bring a flashlight to make your way over to the start of the hike. If you're wondering what these pillboxes are, they were built in World War II to watch out for the Japanese attacks. There you go. Moving on to number three, a very adventurous and thrilling hike, the Obamana Trail. Also known as Three Peaks. We only did the first peak because that's all we were brave enough to do. Yes. But I'm going to venture to say that this is the best views on the island. You get a great look at the Kaneohe sandbar, Kailua, the Mokes. Perfect. Now, you're going to have to do a little bit of rock climbing, but we think these views are absolutely worth it. So this hike is doable. We would say that you have to be in moderate shape because you are going to hike on some rocks with some rope climbing, some narrow ridge lines, but it's beautiful. Now, if you're really, really adventurous, you can go to the second and third peak, but just be aware, it's very dangerous. People have died on this hike. Yeah. So we're going to say only do the first one. Next up, Kayana Point. This hike blew my mind away. I had no expectations. Denny does all the itinerary planning. He just took me along to that hike. It's at the corner of the island, you can say. This is where the road ends, literally. So you walk out to the start of the trailhead and you're immediately rewarded with, again, ocean views, but it's different this time because you're walking next to a lava shoreline. It's black rock. It's very dramatic. The waves are crashing onto it. You'll see countless tide pools. And if you're lucky, you will actually see monk seals that are chilling there, playing in the tide pools. And you're gonna get that total view of Yokohama Bay and the Waianae mountain range and then once you get to the corner you're going to be at a bird sanctuary yeah. where, where you can see some amazing wildlife of Oahu. So you actually have to go through the gate and that's when the landscape changes to a more serene and peaceful atmosphere. This place does have special meaning to native Hawaiians. Legend says that this point needs to be the spirit leap where souls meet their ancestors. All right, the final hike, and we save this one for last because it's our favorite. It's the Kuli O'o Ridgeline Hike. Why this one is a favorite is because you go through different types of climates, it seems like. You start out in this overgrown, dark, shadowy jungle vibe, and then you go on to these pine forests. It kind of opens up more, it gets more air. You see Diamond Head and Coco Crater. At the end, there's, there's a bit of a stairs workout, but once you make it, it again opens up. You're at the very top of the mountain, looking over, again, our favorite side, the east side, beautiful. And that wraps up our top 10 hikes here in Oahu. Let us know what your next hike is going to be. I recommend take a, pic take a picnic basket and enjoy the day. <laughs> take some picnic basket. I would take a picnic basket. No. Until next time. Mahalo.